Well, hey there, Tim Lee, Legacy Studio. Welcome back to my music reaction video. Today, we're checking out a song suggested by G Animal 83. Now, G Animal does a really good job leaving some amazing comments down below with all the details that you need to know. He's got him, several other guys. You just know if they're about to leave a comment, they're going to be leaving some really serious details on what makes baby metal baby metal. So if you like that, make sure you leave a comment down below on their comment. Let them know thank you for all their hard work that they put into each and every one of their comments with history on everything but you voted it up it's brand new day we're gonna check that out here in a second but you know i get a little trigger happy at times so a quick little warning just in case um this video is gonna get paused a lot that's in my way i love looking at music and judging uh the different parts and intricacies of it which means i pause the video a lot well if you don't like talking about music and your favorite parts of that music this might not be the channel for you you've been warned Yes, you have been warned, and I'm looking forward to playing this one here. Baby Metal, brand new day. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any time, my friends. Oh, looks like, like we're about to hit 6,700. Can we hit it by the end of this video? Oh, my land, that has taken off really fast. We've gotten like 10 subscribers in a few minutes. If this hits 6,700, that would be absolutely ballistic And by the end of this video. I'm acting as if you guys are listening in right now to make that happen. Let's see if it happens at the end. Oh, that'd be amazing. All right, here we go. Brand new day. Oh, I like it already. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Yes. Let's go. Oh, band's doing a good job on this one. Oh. Yes. Keep looking down at that counter. I want to see 6,700. Come on. Love it. Oh, I dig this song. What a great vibe. I love it. I love it. This one's going in the playlist. Yes. Yes. Go lead. Love it. Yes. Harmonics. Yes. Love it. Step by step. 
step, baby. I love it. Oh, great job on the guitars. Yes. Oh, that song could have lasted so much longer than that. I loved that. <laughs> All right, we're definitely going to be checking that out again. As you know, we do our judgmental reaction next. Now, before we do that, I need to say a humongous thank you to all the people who make this possible and tell you a little bit about all the tiers that you can check out here. Let's check this out really quick. Hey, Future Tim here. Sorry to interrupt. This is probably the only moment I'm going to have your attention for a half a second in this video. I'm trying to make this a full-time career. Now, we are using copyrighted works, and we're allowed to do that, but the situation is they deserve every penny for the content that they originally created, so we can't monetize it, nor do we want to. I need you to help me monetize my YouTube channel. You can do that by hitting the join button and looking at all the benefits of joining one of the tiers. Early access to all my videos. Uh, you can check out our Discord channel where we have a members only section, behind the scenes content and special stuff only for our members. Thanks for considering it. Let's get you back to the video. All right, let me quickly introduce to you all of the amazing people who make this kind of stuff possible. All of our folks who are early access get early access to all of my videos. I, any video that I make, I release the day of recording it. Uh, usually this stuff is pretty quick to produce and put out there. So I like getting it out that day, and that gives you guys a ton of content every single day to check out. Today I've already made three videos that are going to be uploaded, all three at once. You'll have tons of content to enjoy. Or you can sit back and wait several weeks before you get to see it. Where's the fun in that? So Early Access gets that and a whole bunch more behind-the-scenes content member-only exclusives and then some, including the hiccups, behind-the-scenes bloopers, and all that sort of fun stuff. I don't want to do that again. Our Vanguard historians, which used to be our dis, uh, our Dorka historians. That was an old Easter egg from a video game that we played in the past. You guys were absolutely incredible. Loved the, being a Dorka historian, but because that was three years ago, we're trying to revamp things, give this a new feel. Not everyone wants to be called a Dorka unless you know what it actually means. My Vanguard. My Vanguard are my, my deep thinkers, my idea makers, my people who want to be part of our council, the folks who have great ideas to bring to the table and make our YouTube more lively and interesting. That means you get to hang out in our members-only lounge. You get to watch me work live as I'm creating content, uh, and I keep the live stream on as often as I can, and if I can talk, I talk with you guys. It's a ton of fun. It's my way of connecting with you. Our legacy historians, Tony Allen and Sean Hammond, these are a special breed. These are people who love what we're doing here on the channel and also on top of that are creators of their own now if you're not that kind of creator like tony allen for instance doesn't have a youtube channel but he is a board game creator this guy has made a board game that he is yes we did it six thousand seven hundred in a video yes thanks guys that's awesome <laughs> oh, I was really hoping that would happen, and I just looked down and just noticed that. That's absolutely sweet. Let me get back to my point here. Tony Allen, uh, he's designed this board game that he's invested a lot of his life into. Now, the thing about getting your board game noticed by publishers, unless you self-publish, and that's something he doesn't want to do. I can't blame him in the slightest. That's a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of work to get stuff like this in front of publishers. If you happen to know of a publisher uh, or you know of anyone in the board gaming industry that can give some advice, Tony's gotten lots of advice from a lot of people already, but he's looking for that publisher. I want us to be the reason why he succeeds. I want you and I to be the reason why he succeeds. Please, if you know of anyone that you can suggest to him, get on Discord. Go find to Tony Allen. He's called Tada for real in our uh, in our Discord servers. Go hook him up. Let's get him on the path to success. Get him his dream goal. Same with Sean Hammond. He's got a YouTube channel, Drac Myth. We're playing some games together that we share on each other's uh, YouTube channels, and I want to get him a ton more subscribers. He's got 75, deserves more. He's dreaming big, and I want to help him get even further. This guy's a programmer by day, and not only that, he has a heart of gold by night, where he is developing our whole Discord. He developed our voting system here. Just amazing people. If you're a legacy historian, I really focus in on you. I figured out what you like, and I try to be a blessing. And I think Zoe might be showing herself in here. There you go. You guys say you want to say hi to Zoe for now and then. Here she is. She's poking her head in here. Zoe's my Great Dane. She's my four-year-old Great Dane. She's absolutely adorable. And she's probably wanting some food and it's not quite time yet so she, they gotta wait just a little bit longer sammy's underneath me here let me okay should i get sammy up hang on a sec sam 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 come here 
Come here. Let me show every. Let me show you everybody. Oh, I'm gonna try and pick you up. Oh my gosh, you weigh a lot more than you used to. There we go. <laughs> okay, that means you're gonna have to hang out with me for a second. You can do that. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so this is my Sammy. This is my my awesome Corgi. She's such a spoil sport. She's awesome. Do you want to say hi? Not really. That's okay. They're all just going ah right now because you're so cute. Yes, they are. She's really awesome. She's a really cool Corgi. Love you, sweetie. I'm going to go ahead and put you down, okay? Yes, I know you want to be put down. There we go! And then Logan, he's too heavy to put up here. Oh, he's going to try. Are you actually going to try, Log? Okay. Okay. We're doing introductions today. Come on up here, buddy. This is Logan. <laughs> this is my latest of my family. How you doing, Logie? There you go. How about that? Logan is awesome. He's, uh, he's uh, bo uh, what do they call it? Boston Terrier, I think is what it is, which has the crazy nose and the really cool eyes. I mean, he's obviously got some pit in him. He loves chasing shadows, loves chasing anything that has to do with any kind of shine or glare. But he is such a cool boy. He's a cuddle bug, too. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, I know. Okay, down you go, buddy. Down you go. Daddy's got to keep working on videos. There we go. All right, let Daddy get back to work here. Woo, hello. We still recording? Okay, my screen's just flipped off because they bumped something. <laughs> All right, go on. Out, out, out. Let's go. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Hey, we're celebrating 6,700 subscribers. Why not show you the kids? All right, uh, now we need to get to our, <laughs> our more brutal uh, reaction on this song. Let's give it a watch and check it out here. Here we go. The instant vibe of this song is so sweet. I love it. Very syncopated, very feeling, you know, and everything is down to this perfect timing. I loved how tight everyone plays this. By the way, we got to give credit where credit is due. This stage is bonkers. The graphics, all the setup and everything that they got, had to do to make this stage a possibility. Everyone behind the scenes who made that happen, uh, kudos to you. Credit goes to you. This is a beautiful performance, uh, be, obviously by the girls and by the band, but you got to think about everyone behind the scenes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Who's the guy that sat behind the computer for hours at a time trying to create all of these graphics that show up on these ginormous screens? This is absolutely beautiful. Then you mix that with the music and the girls and their beautiful singing and the dancing and the whole thing just comes together. If one person was missing, there would be an incredible loss. This came together and it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Uh, listen to that listen to that um syncopation going on that do do which which would be actually considered an arpeggio still beautiful just listen to that come back wait for it I like when you hear those keys and a little bit of velocity. Either you're hearing that do 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 and then in there you hear that do 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 you can you can actually feel someone just hitting the keys just a little bit harder in those moments and you can feel that in the song itself. You you don't know how important velocity is to music. Uh, if you really want a taste of that, go and find someone playing um, uh, bells or gongs or, or, or any kind of percussion instrument where they focus on the intricacies of the gentle hitting versus the hard hitting on those things. It's beautiful. <laughs> Her voice rocks per the usual. I, I had a moment, I heard Dusk in the Dark, and that is a song, Dusk Till Dawn, suggested by Darkly Tranquil, uh, which we'll have to check out soon coming up. It's getting voted up, so it would seem. We're keeping a close eye on that one, because it looks like that one's going to be popping out soon. Uh, but uh, I heard that, and I'm like, oh, oh, is it? Uh, did I have the right song? See, you might have noticed I checked up here to make sure it said Brand New Day on it. Uh, I love this, though, and the graphics really add to this, obviously. <laughs> Oh, the drums are so beautiful in this. Oh, 
No, oh, I love this. Love it. Love it. There is so much syncopation going on here where everyone has to play at the exact same time. They have to stop at the exact same time. And it just gives this really rich and and clean and crisp sound. You know, and there's nothing there in between. There's no fillers. There's no extras. There's no nothing. Don't. Don, 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 don. You know, it's like just the shortest little, and it's so powerful in, in such a good way in this song. I love that. I love that. So subtle, hidden in the background. You wouldn't know it unless you were listening for it. Love it. not even being afraid to go into the chance in that moment. Great fill. Yeah. Oh, and when you get chunking on that guitar like that, that cha-chun, 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 I love that. That just gives such a vibe. Ah. Finding the harmonics as he's hitting those strings, getting those harmonics in there, it just gives the guitar a whole different feel. Just hitting on those high frequencies in just like brief little seconds. I'm going back 10 seconds. Give it again. No. No. Yes. Yes. Still in the de- so much power. You got these guys in their degent, which means they got like a string or two that are down tuned, so that you just get this really weird wow wow feeling in them. But then at the same time, you feel like you're in this this high end side of things with the music. It's so good, so good, so powerful. I love this song because when I'm talking about musicality, this is what I'm talking about. Intricacy. There is so much going on to make just one thing happen. And I don't mean just one guy just going, wow, wow. No, no. Every instrument has to play a role to make this happen. And that's what makes us beautiful. Oh, the harmonics and the voices. Harmonies, not harmonics. Going back 10 seconds. Love it, beautiful harmonies. It's really cool when you can hear them try, uh, not trying, but singing English in their songs. You get so used to hearing them outside of the English language, doing their their native language, and then you hear them come into English in their songs. It's like, oh, I recognize what they're saying. That's great. Oh, beautiful harmonies there. Going back, let me hear it again. (laughs) 
Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's two different people playing. That's so good. So good. So good. So good. That one is totally going in my playlist. Yep, absolutely. That one's going to be a listen to all the time song. I love it. What a great suggestion. Once again, by G Animal 83, Brand New Day. That one is such a winner in my book. Oh, so good. So good. Absolutely. Well, thank you so very much for watching this video, folks, and for hanging out with me. I'm sorry for the very long middle section. I hope you didn't mind getting to meet my pups. Uh, some of you said more of Zoe, which I fully agree with you. Tons more Zoe. She's awesome. Um, and uh, just thank you so very much for supporting my little channel. And by the way, can I say... Uh, some of you guys have been sending me super thanks, which uh, I'm having to understand. Uh, I deeply appreciate it. And it looks like you can include a message with that. Please tell me why you sent the super thanks. And then let me ask you, let me say it this way. You're sending over finances to support me, which means the world to me. I ask you for, ask you for that all the time. And so it means a lot to me that you do. Tell me why in that message, why you are doing that. Because I want to know how to bless you more. I want this to be a give and take. I want this number to keep growing because I'm giving to this community. And so when you suddenly feel like reaching into your pocket and donating to the cause of this channel, uh, when you leave that comment, give that reasoning. It means a lot to me because then I know how I can do better. Uh, I've noticed several come in in the last couple of days and I'm going, holy smoke, someone, someone sent me a $100 super thanks the other day. And I'm going... Uh, 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 you know, totally caught me off guard. And, and it's one of those things where you're sitting there just trying not to cry. <laughs> and you're going, what did I do to deserve this? And I can understand $2 a month because it doesn't take a lot off of someone's plate. But a $100 donation is absolutely killer. And there's a reason and a purpose. And I need to know what that is so I can provide uh, for, for you guys. There's a reason why you're here, you know, and, and while I do find that reactions, I'm going to be completely blunt with you. To me, reactions are cheap and simple and quick to do. The, and, and they are utilizing someone else's content. I've been making YouTube uh, videos on YouTube for 20 years now on two different YouTube channels and actually admittedly on more channels than that. And I've put my heart into every single one of those videos over the years, put so much work. This is the easiest type of product I've ever created and it's not mine. That's why I say I don't want to monetize this video because the musicians deserve what they worked hard on. We're just reacting to it. To me, that is a cheap form of entertainment. Do I enjoy it? Absolutely. Am I glad you're here? Oh, man, I love that you're here. But 100%, if I have given you a reason to want to donate to this channel uh, financially outside of our, our memberships and becoming a historian and whatnot, I need to know what that is so that I can do more. I mean that. That means a lot to me. I want to give back to you. I want to give back to the community. Thank you again. <laughs> Just went up again. Huh. I love you guys. Keep it crispy. First in 412. We'll see you in the next one. I hope that you enjoy these little reaction videos that we're doing here. Don't forget, you can suggest whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a music reaction. It's Tim Tries Weird Food. It doesn't matter. Get over to Discord. Leave your suggestions on things that we should check out here on the channel. I love you guys. Keep it crispy. First in 412. And God bless.